I'm Adam and I'm a freshman. I'm Sybil, I'm a senior. We're from North Platte High School. Choo choo! And this poem is called Society Is Us. Every problem, whether it be the calls of help gone unheard, the words unspoken, or the apologies unmade, whether it be the people plotting on how to kill someone's day, or take someone's life, every issue is blamed on someone, and that someone is society. Yet, who is society? <laughs> society is us. Who is blamed for the shivering souls lying in the streets? Their bodies dying from nothing to eat, their potential unrecognized, to be unseen forever. Society. The society that refuses to recognize addiction as a disease. The society that believes prison is a substitute for education. The society who complains about the people on the street. And fears them, but will not help them. Who is blamed for the hidden secrets? The identities constantly living in the shadows in fear of sunlight. Because whenever there is sun, their hiding places are revealed and, and their darkest secrets are brighter than they ever imagined. Society. What do we do to stop the crumbling? The wars and the outrage. The first grade classrooms turn to rubble. The club where night of dancing turn to brutal death and the loss of soulmates. The synagogue where people gathered in peace and worship. Vandalized in an act of terrorism. And the only people there to help were the, the ones society calls terrorists. What do we do? We, we do nothing. Who is blamed for the toxic air? Who is blamed for the animals running in fear? Who is blamed for the rising water slowly turning our home into an uninhabitable zone? Society, you have to wonder, are, are we our own self-destruct button? And are we constantly getting closer to pressing it? How do we find a place to start? When there's too many homes ripped apart. Families left to deal with torn apart pieces and unfulfilled dreams. Too, too many alternative facts. Too, too many, many things, things that can never be taken back. back. One person can't change everything. But one leader can. Who is that leader? Who gets to pick the leader to guide us out of the hole we've created? Society gets to pick. And who, who did society pick? We chose the man with a heart full of hate. We chose the man who cannot understand that when you build walls between people, the fires of rage grow on both sides. And soon enough, the, the hatred, hatred will burn all that exists. Because this is what our leader does not understand. 4% of America isn't straight. 17% of America is Mexican. 20% of America isn't Christian. 50% of America is female. You can't run a country that's populated by people who you refuse to respect. Because there's something we all have in common. We have one home, Earth. And we have one society, us. Woo!